a good handful of barley from my mother's kitchen. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, I will burn. When the robot started in on you, I never thought you'd beat it. <laughs> it was an epic scrap, lad, an epic scrap. Dwarf against machine, nature against technology, mind over matter. Mind? How did you destroy it? I hit him as hard as I could with heavy objects until sparks started leaping out of her. Oh, a shrewd tactic. Too right. But he did land a couple on me. Look what he did to my beard. Oh, uh, yes. I was so tanked up with ale and adrenaline I didn't even notice. I talked to my granddad. He thinks the ring is important too. He wants to help me get to the human town. Yeah, well, of course he wants to do that. Listen to me, laddie. Nothing against your grandpa, but don't you think he's uh, a few chills short of a pint? My granddad is a great soldier and inventor. Yeah, of course he is. Of course he is. But uh, how should I put it? He's maybe had one crash landing too many. His flying machines were mostly a bit uh, temperamental. And let's face it, he wasn't actually the greatest of pilots. Honestly, son, if your grandpa reckons there's something in that story, then for me, that's just one more reason to keep out of it. Grandad and I will show everyone. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale... Dwarven ale? <laughs> it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winterpeak? The volcanic eruption? Ha <laughs> ha Volcanic eruption! Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. Can you imagine how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah, well, some so-and-so cocked up, and boom! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing. After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste, the warmth in the throat, gone forever. Now it's only used in warfare and in the alchemy industry. But you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? As a one-legged duck swim in a circle, of course I know. I'm the master brewer. It's not difficult either. First, you get barley germinated in a malt house, then let them bloat up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kiln dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course, mill it, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? What are... Then mash the whole lot in a mash tun, obviously using the decoction procedure. After the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bed. Of course, but... In other words, we let the draft run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer and add the hops. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust, add the yeast and then leave to ferment. Then we run everything through the pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more complicated. Complicated. Stop. What? We're just getting to the exciting part. I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well, whatever you think. Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You see? Wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? 
Oh, dwarf and ale is nectar. I'd certainly enjoy a weak taste of it again. No, oh, it's not going to happen. I'm missing a few ingredients. And if I get them, would you brew up two tankards then? One for me and one for yourself. Aye. It's a deal. You find me the missing ingredients, and I'll brew some dwarven ale. Okay. What do you need? Crystal clear mountain water, hops, and some barley for malting. Well, that's... Uh, that's it? No, no deviled fire, salamander eyes, or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? Nope. Water, hops, and malt. Uh, then there's just a few secret ingredients, and... Uh, Naturally synthesized aromatics and uh, a couple of E numbers. Uh, but I've already got them here. Okay, water, hops, and barley. I'll get them. Do you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part of five sacks. I've got enough left. I've got to be careful with it. The rat, huh? Hmm. I have a pot of crystal clear water for the dwarven ale. Show me. Hey, that water's very good. We can use this. Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? It's not the best, but it'll have to do. What were those ingredients for the dwarven ale again? What do I need to get? I need crystal clear water. Only the best will do. Then I also need some whole hops, a good handful of them. And I need barley for the malting, about a handful, two of yours. Right. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. If the rat has stolen that many hops, it might still have something stored in there. There's something in there. Something round. Ugh. Hopefully it's not a giant rat dropping. It's a single hop. This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. Okay, I'll plant the hop in the soil. Let's see what happens. I really can't imagine this stuff. Wow! Good fertilizer, that. Nah. Wow! A huge hop plant with tons of cones. I've picked about ten cones. That should be enough for the dwarven ale. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, well. I've got some hops for the ale. Is this enough? Ho, ho, that's enough. I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock. No. Well, only indirectly. And that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. <laughs> Right, it's all go now then. Hey, laddie, you 
Just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Well, tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? The dwarf and ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole evening. Well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. Well, quickly. Oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste some adventure, eh? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. And not everybody's born for having adventures, my lad. But maybe you really do need to get out of here. Really? Aye, laddie. You still live with your parents. And you keep company with a very interesting, intelligent old dwarf. <laughs> but that can't go on forever, can it now? So, if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just to Seastone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it then, eh? I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. And down we go. Um, yes, report back. Here's the dwarven ale, Grandad. Oh, my goodness, we must be careful with this. That means we are only missing the cog. Dismissed! Well then, I'll, I'll let you get on with your work. Yes, and get a move on. We haven't got much time. But remember, you leave a free gnome and free you are. What will you do with that freedom? Will you fight? Right. That won't work, it wiggles too much. That won't work, it wiggles too much. <laughs> <laughs> 